A hearty hello, viewers. Brad prior to Barstool Entertainment doing another GTA San Andreas walkthrough video. Not meant for children, but still a lot of fun. Um, this is a video where I'm going to have to explain some things because the Xbox 360 controller versus a standard Xbox controller or a PS2 controller is different and it caused some issues. Like I'd explained in Pier 69, there's some differences and it causes some issues. In this case, I actually had to figure it out and overcome the problems to where I had to modify the controllers a little bit. And I'll explain. Because this is another Woozy Moo mission that CJ has to deal with because he is an outsider and Woo wants to continue battling the triads using CJ as a pawn in a sense. And CJ has to develop some skills. I'll continue on in the video and edit things possibly to explain. But let's get on with this mission. I need something taken care of. What? Hey man, quit trying to distract me. How are you in the water? What you mean? Can I swim? Yeah. Can you swim well? No, I can't. Shit! Man! Damn! How you do that? <laughs> As you can see, it's called Amphibious Assault. And CJ needs to practice his underwater skills, bring up his lung capacity, before he can do this mission. Now, one of the problems with swimming in Xbox 360, uh, CJ has a real hard time deep diving and building up his lung capacity. And so, ultimately, um, it was kind of nearly impossible to try and even deal with this mission. It was very frustrating to a point where I'm like, what am I going to do? So I finally figured it out with a little research. I had to change the controllers. And it helped. And CJ could deep dive and swim properly. And I'll explain further on in the video on what has to be done for an Xbox 360 player to swim properly and complete missions where swimming is involved, like this mission, Amphibious Assault. I'm going to show you the difficulty CJ has in swimming by swimming. And there is in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas clams, which CJ has to die for. And if you get 50 clams, CJ gets 100% lung capacity. So I'm going to sail this boat out to where CJ has to die for a clam and show you how to change the controllers in the Xbox 360 so that CJ can properly swim. Now, as you can see, CJ is now trying to swim and he can't dive properly. He can't stay underwater for very long, has difficulty swimming, cannot reach the clam. Well, this requires a change up in controllers. And, you know, in order to build up lung capacity and do that, you have to flip over to options, 
redefine controllers, and invert look. Right now, invert look is off. You turn it to on. And when you flip it to on, CJ can swim properly. He can drive properly because the controller is now working in the opposite direction that it should be. And it's really hard to kind of figure out, but once you've tried to play this, I mean, I didn't realize it could play the controller in reverse in a sense, but it's just easier to flip to the inverse look and let CJ swim properly. And now that CJ can swim properly, once he gets to land, you flip the thing back on to inverse look off, and you can play normally. But if you're swimming, you flip to inverse look on, and you can swim. The other thing I did is I turned the volume of the radio down to nearly zero so that I don't have to flip off the damn radio every time I get into a car and it auto-tunes. But that is another way of doing things. So let's get on with the mission of Amphibious Assault. Hold on. You trying to tell me you can't swim? Seriously, when I'm in the deep water, it, it panics me. Plus, I'm terrified of eels and squid and seaweed and... Okay, dude, see, I know you're just trying to make excuses now. Look, CJ, I need someone from outside the triad who I can trust. All right, so let me get this straight. You want me to swim around in dirty dock water dodging little brown jelly beans and Vietnamese gangsters to put a bug on a boat in the harbor? You're so negative. Listen, man. When I was a kid, swimming off the Santa Maria, I once got a condom stuck to my face. <laughs> Horror like that stays with you for life. Believe that. <laughs> I have a confession to make. I, um... I'm blind. No shit! Yeah. Although I've trained my other senses to a point where you wouldn't notice my handicap, in the water, they'd be quite useless. All right, Woozy, relax. Don't beat yourself up about it. Look, I'll do it. Uh, one last thing. You do know that I'm black, right? And not Chinese. I'm blind, Carl, not stupid. This is actually one of the favorite missions in the game because it shows some friendship between Woozy and CJ. Some respect and camaraderie that these days might be considered, ooh, triggering. But CJ has to drive to the docks and jump into the water, swim out to a boat, and plant a listening device on that boat so Woozy and his people can hear what rivals are talking about. Now, you get to the lore level road on San Fierro and drive to the docks and you'll get there quickly. Um, driving is kind of crappy. I did a driving school video and let's get on with this mission. I'll explain as it goes on. The boat CJ is to swim out to and put a bug on is ancient is anchored out to the sea and there are patrol boats surrounding the area. Now CJ will have to dive into the water, swim through this maze of rocks in order to get out to the 
area where the tanker is and board. Now, you follow the instructions. Again, you flip to inverse view, and CJ can swim properly. He can dive properly. He can get under this underwater tunnel and swim through it in order to get to where he needs to go. Now, the swimming is a little jagged a bit, and you got to get used to it. But once you've inversed the look, you can swim and control things and go through this whole maze to where CJ Nets needs to go and get to the boat. So I'm going to let CJ finish this up and then walk through the getting to the boat area. Okay, you just got to keep on swimming like Dory has said. And now you're outside and you see these guard boats. And they're patrolling around the area of the ship you got to get to. And if you swim to the tanker to get aboard, if you're spotted by these guard boats, they'll shoot at you. And you have to dive below the water and swim underwater to get past them. But you got to kind of worry about lung capacity and getting shot. Now, the boat turns away because they're disinterested. CJ can come up, breathe some water, do a little more swimming. And if you have been spotted by the guards, you dive underwater and lose their attention. You can kind of swim while they're shooting at you because they won't do a lot of damage. Once you get to full lung capacity, you dive underwater and you keep on swimming. And you don't want to get trapped, but they lose interest relatively quickly and you can continue to swim. In fact, swimming is a great way to build up muscle and stamina. And you can get your muscle and stamina up very quickly. You come up for air, take some breath, and once you keep swimming to the boat, I'll explain further once CJ gets to the boat. Let him swim through this and let you observe what's going on. Is that a guy in the water? Get the son of a bitch! He's got to come up for air at some point! Shit, must have been a seal. Okay, now that CJ has gotten to the main boat, get toward the center of the boat. Let CJ get his lung capacity up to 100%. And the easiest way to do things is to dive down and swim under 
the main boat and slowly make your way toward the opposite side. If you do this right, CJ has plenty of lung capacity, and once you get up under the boat, um, I'm bumping into the bottom of the boat, as you can see, but his lung capacity inc increased. Now CJ has surfaced, and you can swim toward the ladder platform floating in by the boat and get CJ up onto that. And once you get up onto the platform, you get the AK-47 or a gun, and you get all sneaky, and you got to plant the bug on the tanker and get rid of the guards on board. Well, they're all coming at you with knives. And one of the things you want to do is flip toward the... I'm going to show it now. You go back to... You turn off the inverse look so that you can properly go through and kill the guards. Now, what's funny is you sneak around. Normally, you try and cut them up. Nah, these guards have knives. Just shoot them with the AK. And it's not working now, but come on, this sucks. A little bit of wonkiness in the controllers. Walk back a little bit. <clears throat> Sorry, boom, shoot the guard down. They only have knives. And when they come at you, you got plenty of time to shoot them and take them down. And you get some free knives here. And you work your way toward the control room and get CJ to where he can plant the bugs. Um, it's an easy walk through at this point. I'll let it continue on. Shut up. CJ has eliminated all the guards and he's got to walk his way down to this point and plant the bug. Once the bug is planted, I mean, there's hints that there are some extra guards, but the reality is once you sneak your way up, the guards disappear. Now, I'm going to explain some things once CJ gets to the top and the upper deck that you can do to make your life a little easier. Once CJ gets to the upper deck of the main boat, he can go toward the back area here and he can unsneak at some point, which I'm going to do. There we go. And CJ can run to the back of the boat here. And as you can see, there are patrol boats. Well, walk up to this area, and you can gun down the guys on the patrol boats and kill them in this part of the, the game. And once you've killed off these guys, it makes life a lot easier for you. Before you enter the water, flip to turning the inverse look on so you can swim properly. And once you get off the boat and start swimming, the best way to do things is not to swim around the boat here, but you want to go back to the midpoint of the main ship and swim under the main ship. Again, 
CJ will have ample lung capacity and he will not drown. As I said, swimming is a great way to build up muscle and stamina. Now, once you get under the main boat and you can get up to the surface, you have killed off the guards on the other boats and CJ can have a clear swim to the end. And I will fast forward through that to get to the end. So, CJ gains $11,000 in respect by completing this mission. Um, as I've explained before, I was having a lot of problems trying to swim and finding out that I have to just inverse the look, turning it on and off, so that CJ can properly swim. Once he hits land, you turn off the inverse look, and CJ can run properly and move about properly. I might experiment with this. When it comes to doing a sniper rifle again, but CJ needs to get something to eat, and I need to build up some muscle on CJ, so I'm going to get him some pizza, and it's all good. Um, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, reminding you to like, subscribe. It's one of the best ways I can possibly monetize this channel. Um, I'm not doing a Patreon or anything like that. Maybe in the future, who knows. But again, if you can like or subscribe, even dislike. As long as I'm building up viewers and getting noticed, I can monetize this channel at some point just to make a little extra money. Do not forget to go to barstoolentertainment.com. I've got a webcomic, teen, teen Spider Adventures, that posts every Sunday. It's free. It's enjoyable, like everything I do. I just want to do some entertainment. As always, thanks for stopping by. Oh, oh, oh. Jesus Christ! Oh.